Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jodi. Um, thank you so much for tuning in and welcome, welcome, welcome. It's a pleasure to have you here today. Today we are doing a fragrance haul. To be exact, we're doing an Amazon fragrance haul. I've got three fragrances here that I purchased quite a while back and I just thought that, you know what? I've tried them long enough. It's time to give my kind of thoughts and overview of the fragrances. So if you would like to see which fragrances I've purchased, then keep watching. Okay, so the first fragrance we're going to speak about is called Jazab. Um, I can't pronounce the name of the designer very well, so I won't even attempt to. So what I will do is leave everything in the description bar below and my Amazon link that I used um, to purchase my fragrance. Um, you can click on there and basically have a look at the fragrance if you wish to. So let's move on to the packaging of the actual bottle. Um, it's like this rose gold kind of bottle. I'm not sure my camera will be able to pick it up. So what I'll do is I'll try and leave like maybe a little picture here so you guys can see how beautiful this bottle is and um, it sprays very well mm, that fragrance but yeah I'll tell you the notes of the fragrance and then I can go into what I really think of the fragrance so Giuseppe is actually a unisex fragrance I agree with that to some extent um however I think it's more um, targeted towards women because I do find that the fragrance is quite sweet um but throughout wearing it um throughout the day it does get a little bit more kind of smoky, a little bit more musky. Um, I don't think musk is a note in there, but I'll go ahead and read you all the notes, all the information that I'm able to actually find on the fragrance itself anyways. Um, so the top notes, we have spicy notes, citrus, middle notes, we have cedar, amber, base notes, we have oriental and woody notes. Um, the heart note is spicy and floral with oud, grapefruit, flowers and pink pepper. The woody notes include amber, cedar, oud, Again, patchouli, and yeah, um, it's absolutely a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I actually love this fragrance so much. It reminds me so much of, um, you know, Marc Jacobs, what's it called, the one in the green box? Um, is it Decadence? If that's how you pronounce it, Decadence, Decadence, yeah, Decadence. So I do love Marc Jacobs um, Decadence. However, I find that I have to be in the mood to want to wear that fragrance because I feel like it's very, very sweet. So I'm not always in the mood for sweet, sweet perfumes. However, with this, I find that it's quite an easy wear because it's sweet and it goes into the smoky kind of woody kind of warm comforting and um, parts of the notes uh, I would definitely recommend this because it lasts so so long like I'll spray my coats today and then tomorrow I can still smell it like it's that good like whenever I go to work this is like my work perfume by the way whenever I spray this and I go to work and I leave my coat in like the coat area um, and I go back to collect my coat at the end of the day this smell fills the whole room up. I don't have to top it up throughout the day or anything like that. It stays with me for that whole like eight, nine hours that I'm at work, it stays with me. It smells so, so good. I get so many compliments um, whenever I wear this. It literally fills the room. The projection is great. The longevity is great. And I mean, for 15 pounds, you won't be losing. So I would probably stick with this in the winter, autumn, sometimes spring months. Because, you know, sometimes in spring, you have those kind of cold, almost wintry, rainy days, almost like today. And you want something just comforting and warm and sweet and cosy. This is the fragrance for you. The only reason why I won't say this is suitable for summer is because for me personally, I really have to be in the mood in summer to like kind of wear a sweet fragrance. Um, for me, I like kind of clean and all that like fresh, you know, vibe. But yeah. For me personally, this is an everyday fragrance. I would definitely wear this like if I'm running errands or if I'm going to work or even if I'm having brunch with friends, I'll definitely, definitely wear this. Um, the only reason why I wouldn't say occasional wear because I just don't feel like it's, it's just not unique enough for me personally for occasional wear. Um, so that's the only reason, but I would definitely say this is a good buy that I've bought for 15 pounds. So yeah, overall for me, I would basically rate this Probably a, for me, I think it's a 10 out of 10. There's nothing I can say that I wish that it did more of. Um, I actually think it's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance and it's definitely worth the price that I paid for it. So the next fragrance that I have is called um, Fleur by Le Rive, if I think that's how you say it. Um, but look, I think Le Rive is actually um, kind of a, a dupe. They do dupes, basically. Um, yeah, so this, I actually read that it's a dupe for Poison Girl. And that's why I went ahead and bought it, because I actually love Poison Girl, but I feel like 
Poison Girl is quite expensive and I don't feel like it lasts very long. Um, that's the only reason why I just didn't go ahead and get the original. So I was like, Do you know what, let me just get this. I think I paid about, some places actually, this is about £7.99, um, £8.99. I think on Amazon it was a little bit more expensive. I'm not sure exactly, but I think it's probably hitting about £12 or something like that. But yeah. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of um, the fragrance already. Like, there's a huge, like, there's a lot missing. And um, not because I actually love this fragrance, but because I actually bought this in the winter months, right? I think I bought this maybe around January or so. Um, and it just wasn't giving what it was supposed to give. Like, it just, it just... It was very, like, as soon as I sprayed it, it was gone. Like, I was like, did I actually spray anything? Like, did I actually spray anything? Like, I just wasn't smelling it. I just don't know what it was. It just wasn't, it just wasn't lasting at all. Like, I just couldn't smell it. Like, I'd spray it, and then I would smell it, and then I would go do something else. Like, for example, like, put my shoes on or grab my bag. By the time it was time to leave the house, I just wouldn't smell it that much. It was just like... It was just gone, like, it was just not there. So I was just like, what a waste of money. Like, it smells exactly like Poison Girl, like exactly like Poison Girl. But it was just a poor performance. I was like, no, I wasn't too mad because I did only pay, as I said, not much for this. But no, it was just not giving what it was supposed to give, basically. For me personally, I would not repurchase this because of the lack of projection, the lack of longevity. It's just, it's not an amazing fragrance. It smells exactly like Poison Girl, but it's just not fantastic in terms of performance. Um, yeah, I feel like, you know, people who are working from home now and they like still kind of get dressed and they still spray perfume, get do their hair, whatever. Um, yeah, so if you want this for like a basic at home kind of fragrance, then go for it. Um, yeah, go for it. Or like, I don't know, I wouldn't recommend if you wanted to like, go out for like a whole day wearing this because it will literally just fade very quickly. I could smell it more in the warmer months, but it just didn't last, it still didn't last very, very, very long. I think the maximum it's lasted on me. It's probably maybe about um, where I can actually truly smell it. It's about maybe an hour and a half. However, if I hold the item that I've sprayed and I sniff it, I can smell it. But that's not the way perfume should work. You should be able to get a whiff of it. Like if I move or whatever, I should be able to smell my perfume a bit. But yeah, um, if I had to rate this out of 10, I would probably give this a four because I have to be fair. Even though I wasn't able to actually enjoy the fragrance in winter because I wasn't able to smell it very much, um, when it did get warmer, I did kind of get hints of it a bit more on my my clothes and stuff. Um, I just don't feel like I just don't feel like it's worth the money to be honest with you because it just doesn't last very long. That's basically just it. However, I do feel like it's very 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 similar to Poison Girl. That's the only thing. That's why I'm giving it a four. So yeah. So the next fragrance we're going to talk about is called Tarab Al Dahab, and it's by the same designer that designed um, Dizab. And if you watched my previous video, my previous um, Amazon perfume haul, um, I'll link it up here. And um, he also designed Durham, which I actually liked Durham as well. So I thought, you know what? Let's try another fragrance from him. So I went ahead with this one um, because the reviews online were like really nice. So I thought that I would really like it. Um, I think I paid no more than, I would say, 12 to 13 pounds um, for this bottle. It's a 100 ml um, Edu perfume. But yeah, let's go over the notes. So the top notes include white flower, lime, middle notes include coconut milk, vanilla, nutmeg, and then the base notes include musk. For me, I, I wasn't blown away by this one. When I first sprayed this, I wasn't blown away. In fact, I was irritated because I expected more from this um, designer. Um, when you first spray, it reminds me personally of like hairspray or toilet refresher or something of the sort. As it dries down um, throughout the day, you can smell the coconut milk more and more and more. So for the whole day, you end up smelling like hairspray and coconuts, basically. Um, 
I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. I definitely won't repurchase another bottle of this. It does last quite long, not as long as its other fragrances. Um, but yeah, I definitely won't be repurchasing this. I love, love, love coconuts. So I was a little bit like, ugh. The coconut is what drove me in to like get this bottle of perfume as well because I had a, what's it called? Cloud by Ariana Grande and I was obsessed. I was like, I need everything in coconuts, everything. And then I got this and I was like, no, no, it, it's just not it. I'm definitely going to use it because I've purchased it, but I feel, I feel like I have to be in the mood to want to use this. So if I had to rate this out of 10, I would possibly give this a five because it's not terrible, but it's not fantastic. Um, and some people may like the scent, the opening scent of it. Whereas personally, it's not to my taste. So I definitely won't be repurchasing a bottle of this. I will definitely use it because I've spent money on it, but um, I definitely have to be in the mood when I would like to use it because if, like I really imagined it really different in my head and based on the reviews that were written as well I was like mm, I'm gonna love this um but yeah I just imagined it to be kind of really coconutty kind of warm but it just wasn't it's just like I don't like the opening of it I don't like the kind of air freshener kind of toilet spray scent it sometimes smells like lotion as well yeah, it's just, I just don't feel like this is my scent of perfume that I would like go for. But yeah, I give it 5 out of 10 as well, um, because it does last quite long as well. Longevity is there. Um, projection, not so much. I haven't received any like kind of compliments um, when I have worn it. To be honest, I haven't worn it that much because I don't really like it that much. But yeah. But yeah, so those are the three fragrances that I have for you today. Um, really, really quick overview, really quick video of them. Um, but yeah, um, hopefully you've liked this video. If you do, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And then I will see you in my next video. Take care.